Hello, welcome back. We're carving with Eric again. I've been asked if I would do a face stick. <clears throat> a lot of carvers like to use a face stick, especially when they first start out, because they're useful for practicing. And so on a face stick that I use, and a lot of other carvers use, it's using a 2 by 2 by 12 inch block. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're putting the face on the corner. I know some people love carving on the corner, especially a face. Some people don't. But I like them because it immediately sets the nose out from the rest of the face. Now, you can do that from a flat place and, and, and flat part of the carving, and I do that a lot as well. But for beginners, starting on the corner is very useful in terms of being able to place where the forehead goes, where the nose goes, where the chin goes, because these things all stick out from the face. And so we're doing a carving of a face stick that will, that will show us what we want to do in terms of breaking it down into steps. And my particular one is one I learned from a few other carvers, and I've seen plenty of people do that. But really what it is is start with a 2 by 2 by 12 and then you break it up into 3-inch blocks. Basically, you know, kind of a friendship cane segment. And each one of those blocks is, is, is intended to be one or two or maybe even three steps of carving a face. Because if we can break it down into 16 steps, we can actually combine some of those steps at times and break it down into 10 steps. And I've seen some carvers break down carving an eye particular into, into five steps. So on this particular one, we're going to just draw it out, lay it out. I'll give you a sheet of paper that'll tell you what to do in the video. And I'll link it. I'll put that in the link as well if I can figure out how to do that. Anyway, I'm not the best technological person anyway, so I'm, I'm still struggling with some of these things and learning, but I'm learning with you because I see some of you guys also do in your own videos, and it's nice to watch. Anyway, on this one, we're going to, I'll show you what it looks like, then I'll show you some examples of ones that have been made and are sold commercially by different carvers, and then we'll jump right into our own face stick itself. It's 16 steps. And we'll take as long as we need to, because you know me, if you've watched me at all, you know I, I try to explain everything that we're doing and why we do that and, and, where, and, and why we use the particular tools. I was at a, a taught carving in Salem, Oregon this past week, and every time I try to tell someone how to do something, I always tell them why. Why did I use that tool? Why did I use that cut? Why did I do it that way? Even something simple as sharpening. And so I, I did that on the first day, and, and it was I, the look of confusion was, was there for some people, and it usually is when I try to explain some things. And on the second day, I had a lady come up to me in, uh, before class and said, I want to thank you for explaining everything, because not every carver or video or even magazine article can, can tell you why we do the things that we do. When you watch my videos, I, I want you to know why we did that, what we were trying to do with that particular angle or that particular cut or that particular technique and so you're again you're getting my opinion and you're getting my experience not necessarily what somebody else is so there's other people that do things differently i have no problem with that i'm not going to tell them they're doing it wrong i am going to tell you what works for me you're free to try that you're free to use that and i want to make sure that you understand why i do what i do so Anyway, uh, I'll save this video and I'll attach it to the others and, and I'll have that loaded up in a couple of days and, and we'll see you on the journey. Have a great day. See you in a bit. All right, I told you I would show you what we're doing, and this is what we're going to be doing, we're working on a 2x2x12 two by two by inch block. I'm, 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 I'm going to come back to that in a minute. I've got the steps. I'll go over those here in just a minute, but let me show you some examples of face sticks. Here's one by Harold Enlow, 1986, and I've got another one just like it, but this one's made out of plaster, and this one's made out of resin. So the resin's easier to see if you go to buy one of these. These are made by Harold Enlow in 1986. Here's another one by Harold Enlow that's all about mouths. And you can see the different lips and different mouths, even noses in there. And so when I first started out, I thought these were the coolest things in slice bread. I still do. I'm glad to use them, but I just don't use them that much anymore. Here's another one by Harold Enlow. It's all about how to carve Santa Claus. The basic five steps, I guess you could break each one of these down into several steps too, but the basic steps on how to carve Santa Claus. And I see a lot of Santa Clauses and my first ones were not, they were not smiling. 
they looked kind of like they were dour and sour the, the, the day after Santa. Anyway, this one was done in 1991. Here's another one done by Dave Stetson, what I do with that one. And I like Dave's work. Dave's a great carver. But this one's all about the ear and the, and the eye and then various different face, kind of like what we're going to be doing, you know, starting out with, you know, sticks, starting out with the, with the corners and, and how you do mouths. And so Dave did this one in 1993. I'll show you the steps. Steps are all here, and I'll I'll leave this up here for a couple of seconds while we go through it. But this is also if I can if I can figure out how to link that in the bottom of the details. I'll try to, I'll try to late leave this video this instruction sheet. But we're starting with a two by two by twelve inch basswood block. We're laying the block into sections that are three inches long, sixteen sections total, four, eight, twelve, and sixteen. We'll use a stop cut. We'll notch the eye socket in the nose. Just like that, then we'll carve along the nose to separate the nose from the rest of the face. Then we'll carve the eye sockets. Then we'll come back up here. Step number five, shape the bottom of the nose. Step number six, carve the smile line and start to shape the mouth mound. Number seven, we'd flatten the chin a little bit and shape the area above and continue shaping the mouth mound. Number eight, we'd flatten and shape the area above the eye socket. Right there, I keep losing my spot. Number nine, we're reshaping around the eye sockets and then we'll draw in the eyes that you want to carve, whatever they are, squinting, wide open, whatever. Number 10, we'll carve the forehead and outline the eyebrows. Number 11, we'll carve the eyebrow details. Number 12, we'll carve the eyelids and eyeball as well as the bag under the eyes and any wrinkles you wish to add. Ignore the mouth, that's actually out of sequence, I'm confused. 13, we'll shape the cheeks and the nose. 14, we'll add nostrils. 15 will carve the mouth. I forgot. <laughs> mouth moved over there. So, And then we'll add any last details. So first step we want to do is lay out our block. And so as you can see, I've got my 12 inch block here and I've laid out each section in three inches. So I've got about three inches there. So I've got a little, this block is actually a little bit longer. It's about two and an eighth. Or a little bit wider and it's just a shade over 12 inches but you will we'll make it work I've done that on every corner and then one of the things I want to do is I want to label the numbers next so I'm gonna let me finish drawing these lines because my wife is always telling me you guys can't see the pencil lines and when I go back and watch the video she's right I can't see the pencil lines which means since I made them and can't see them you probably can't either so I'm gonna leave these lines where they where they go you want basswood to be the, the straightest grain you can find on this. You can see kind of the grain. It's got straight grain there. It's got straight grain right there. But it's got a little bit of, of the cell changing. Straight grain there and straight grain there. And I want to use that and I like that. That is a good piece of wood to use. So I'm going to lay out the, lay out the steps. And I'm just going to go here to label them. This is going to be step one, two, three and four flip it over five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i would imagine you could do this one two three four five six seven eight and do it that way i think with my mind i'd get lost and i've got a box of them sitting down here where i was carving along carving along okay next step carving along then I find out I added too much or didn't add enough. And so I like I like labeling them that way. Now, the other thing we're going to do, I didn't put it into, into the paper. I'll have to. We're going to label this into places where we want to put everything. So this is this is not going to be, this is going to be notched. And so I'm going to, my first step is going to be here, second, third, fourth. So I'm going to lay out three inch, an inch at a time. I'm going to put a line at, inch and, at every inch on the corner because that's where I'm going to be doing my carving. I'm not going to connect these lines. I'm just going to put them on the corners. And so this one, why didn't I do that on the corner? Don't know. Eric has no idea why he didn't do it on the corner. There we go. So I want my lines here because this is where I'm going to make my first initial cuts. So I'm just laying these out on the corner. Not there, dummy. Not there, dummy. Not there, dummy. Let's carve that off. We don't need that one right there. It's going to get confusing. There we go. 
9, 10, 11. Again, I want you to understand that this is not going to be perfect. I'm not trying to have a perfect face stick. I'm trying to get things where they belong roughly. And as a character carver, that's one of the things I enjoy about character carving. I do not have to be perfect. I just have to be close enough and I have to follow the symmetry. So on each one of these corners now, I'm going to, I'm going to connect those lines. Because this is where I'm going to start carving on these notches. Again, don't 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 follow the machinist and have to have everything perfectly right. Nothing wrong with everything being perfectly right, but not on this one. I have a saying that I use all the time: perfection is the enemy of done. And so, if you're always looking for perfect, you're going to have a hard time getting done because it's just not going to happen. You're always looking for that perfect cut, that perfect look, whatever you're looking for that's perfect. There aren't many things in this world that are perfect, and so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand that in the way I do things. And so there's the lines I need. I don't need these that I drew in the middle. That's not important. And so we're going to worry about these lines here. This is one inch, one inch, and one inch. And so we're going to do one, okay? So here's what we're going to do. When we start carving, that's our first step. We lay it out. Second one, we're going to notch. We're going to notch two, three, four, all the way through 16. Then we're going to come back to step three, and we're going to do step three starting here, and then we're going to do it on every corner along the way. So by the time you're done, you will have practiced these things a bunch of times. The small, the first one you would practice, practice once, Second, when you're practicing twice, third, or, or the rest of them, the third you're practicing, and so you're practicing all of these steps at each, each, each and every time that you need to do it. All right, first things first, glove. Never carve without a glove. I don't want to tell you how many people I have seen that carved without a glove, and then they ended up regretting it. You see my hand in there a lot of times, and I have, I've made no secret about that, because I do a lot of carving. That has nothing to do with a with a with a carving knife. It's a table saw. Long before they had the saw stop. And I'm looking around my room and I cannot find out where I put my glove yesterday. So I, uh, I'm gonna have to pause here for a minute and we'll take a break and I will uh, go look for my glove because it's here somewhere. All right, we'll come back and we'll uh, we'll pick it up when we start carving in a minute. <laughs> 